Okay. All right. And uh, let's just go ahead and pray. Lord, just thank you for this time together. We just thank you for your wisdom. We thank you for answers uh, for us, Father God. We just give you our businesses. Lord, take them and uh, just make it a way to bless other people and to bless our families. Father God, make, uh, make the income. Lord, uh, thank you that you've given us the power to make wealth and to, to bless our families and other people. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. All right. But anyway, I was just saying a couple of weeks ago, I've been building up my friends on Facebook, right? And I was telling Karen uh, a while ago how you do that is you look at the friends you have, and then if they are friends with other people that – you have something relatable to like um, some of my teacher friends. I'm like, Oh yeah, I remember her. And I would send out friend requests and then, you know, it just built that way. And um, so I did that on my regular Facebook um, timeline. But then when it went to my business page, um, after the, the compliance rules hit, um, they, uh, I didn't add everybody onto my, like I did before, onto my Pretty in Pink uh, business page, okay? So I just did it, <clears throat> just a few people, and I pray before I add them on. So one day I was praying, this is a couple of weeks ago, and I said, well, I guess it's time to add some more people on, so Lord, just, you know, uh, impress upon me who you want me to add. Well, one of the ladies... Uh, Mary Walker, she's an old friend of ours, and her husband, uh, well, ex-husband, anyway, um, he uh, worked with Ted, and he was my boss when I worked with the budget opticals company for a while. And so, anyway, um, I said, okay, so I added her onto my business page, and I get, like, immediate response from her and she she told me she said Kim she said I'm so glad you invited me to add me on to your business page because I really needed this at this time in my life she said after the divorce I gained 50 pounds and I, I'm desperate I need to do something and from what I saw I said uh, she said I'm just really impressed with it and I'm like well great and she said what do you recommend I purchase and stuff and I'm like and she's a nurse okay so I just real didn't add a lot of just answered her questions, kept it real simple, you know. Uh, didn't add a lot of embellishment, not a whole. Did a little elevator, you know, speech mm -hmm. online. But <clears throat> so anyway, um, you know, suggested some the triplex and all that, and she goes, "Okay, sounds good. I'll put the order in." I'm like, "Okay," and I'm thinking, "Well, Lord." <laughs> it's in your hand because you know you have some of those potentials or customers that say yeah I'm going to get it and then they don't get it you know what I'm saying so I'm like well okay father mm -hmm. I just thank you for your peace just going to have peace in this and within a few days she did she purchased a triplex and I'm like okay great and I told her when she purchased that I um I said listen I've got some other free samples of our shake and other, you know, like the cream, the creams and stuff. And I said, can I come by your house? Because she doesn't live too far from my house. And I said, can I come by and drop it off? You know, and I said, I, I know your weekends are very precious because she's like the nurse manager at a Scott White clinic mm -hmm. on, near off of Clear Creek. And um, so I said, I'm not going to take much of your time. I'm just going to drop off that and some reading material. And she said, yeah, that sounds great. So, um, you know, came and dropped that off, talked to her a little bit, and I told her after I dropped it off, you know, I was there for tops 10 minutes, okay, because she asked me a few questions, and also I told her, I said, now I'm going to be calling next week, see how you're doing, okay, I'm going to be following up with you, and I want to make sure that you're, you're doing okay, and she goes, sure. So, a week later, you know, she, uh, and I said, let me know when you get it. So, she let me know when she got it. And then, um, I'm like, oh, I'm, she said, I'm so excited. I'm starting it today. And I'm like, great. I'll touch base with you in a few days. So, touch base with her. I said, how are you doing? She says, 
I'm, I'm feeling great. You know, energy level was up. She said, I'm having the endurance to do my workouts. I'm just feeling awesome. And I'm like, that's great. And I didn't go into die off. I didn't go into detox, nothing. I said, that's great. And, um, one of the things the Lord is uh, asking me, I mean, or telling me, he says, let them ask, you know, and he may tell you different about your customers. So just, you know, uh, spend that time in prayer and just ask, you know, but in this case, like with uh, Mary and sure enough, I said, uh, after the first, I'm like, oh, that's awesome, hon. I'm so glad. Just keep on going. Consistency is key. And if you have any questions, but I'll check on you in the next few days. And so I checked back with her, and sure enough, see, because I didn't tell her to start out slow. I just went ahead because she was, like, already there. She's like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start it. I did not squelch her, okay? And she started going through detox, and that's what she wanted, see, because she said, I want to detox. I want to get this out. I know I've got stuff in me. I got to get out. And I'm like, okay, cool, you know. And I said, how are you feeling? And she said, well, uh, she started describing the die-off symptoms. And I said, okay. And she said, but I noticed um, when I drink my water and I drink extra water, I feel better. And I'm still doing my workouts and I still have endurance and I still have energy. But I have, if I don't drink my water and I'm not taking, and I have to continue to take products. I said, you hit it right on the nail, girl. And she said, I understand this. As a nurse, I understand when you have changes in your body, it's going to have, so I'm like, well, praise God. <laughs> you know, I don't have to fight with this person or, you know, stuff like this. So I said, okay, sweetie, well, I sent her a little article you know, private message and article that I saw in um, Dana's site and uh, about detox, die off, that kind of thing, and um, how you can get migraines and everything with that. And I said, um, here's some little helps here. Read this article. It's fascinating. What you're going through is spot on. And I said, um, also, you may have already know this, but something that really helps is have a glass of. Um, of lemon water or uh, hot lemon water or extra vitamin C, you know, to help with the die off or uh, detox symptoms. And she's like, yep, I know that. Thank you so much. I know this is all temporary and I'm liking what I'm experiencing so far and I'm just going to, you know, keep on going. And she, and I said, make sure that you look for, um, like I said, I kept it really short. I, and that was big for me to do that, <laughs> you know. I kept it really short, and I just kind of just told her, okay, you know, um, that's awesome, great, and uh, let me know, and I'll check on you next week. So I uh, wished her happy Mother's Day this weekend. I'm going to check on her later this week, but I told her to look for non-scale victories, you know, where measurements. And everything and all the emails that I sent her uh, from the Plexus Power Tools website, uh, they have those, um, they have those um, uh, documents that you can send new customers. And it has that sheet where they can print out and they can put beginning weight, beginning uh, measurement, and, you know, track. So uh, she said, yeah, I, I didn't get into that. I said, well, let me encourage you to do that. You know, get into that and, you know, start tracking. So, you know, we'll see. But I was excited, you know. And then uh, Glory Hallelujah, another price report. <coughs> my mom, whenever I talked to my mom, and my mom was a hard sell. She had to, what, she watched me like for almost the two years. That, what, that I was on it, and she's like, all of a sudden, one day, Kimmy, I'm doing that, you know, you know, and I'm like, okay, mom, and she didn't do well on the pink drink at all, and she was scared to do the BioCleanse and ProBio 5, but she, she, she said, okay, once I do, I, I trust Kimmy, so I'm going to do it, and so she just sings the praises, and so now she's on X Factor and Mega X. And every time I talk to her, I don't have to bring up the product. She's like, 
Kim, guess what happened to me today? <laughs> I'm like, what, huh? And she goes, like, the latest one was Mega X, okay? And she introduced that into her, um, her thing. And um, she said, I'm able to eat my uh, salads again. And she's a vegetable person. Okay, she loves it. But uh, since she's turned 70, she said um, the raw vegetables were messing up her gut. And she was, you know, on the toilet a lot with that. So she had to stop. And she could very seldom eat cooked vegetables, you know. But she started the Mega X. She said, that's the only thing that's different. And she said, now I can eat my salads. And I love it. I just, I love it. So just another, you know, um, thing. And I'm, she's sold. She goes, I'm taking these till Jesus calls me home. And I'm like, awesome, Mom. <laughs> so that was huge. And then my aunt, um, my mom's sister, uh, she's she did an order this week and I'm just praising God because she's got that myeloma cancer that blood cancer and she's loving the X Factor she's loving the uh, ProBioFi BioCleanse no honey Aunt Vern my aunt so do you have any that's Molly Molly's going to be an ambassador too she's already told me what do you have a brother? yes I have a brother buddy so, yeah, well, I'm in the meeting, honey. Let me finish, okay? Or you can come and listen. But anyway, uh, Molly's been sharing to people about the products, and she loves your pink drink and everything, so we're excited. But anyway, so that's my latest. How about you guys? How are y'all doing? <laughs> this one's busy on this it's end. <laughs> Are all the kids well, Michelle? Yeah, yeah, they just keep going like crazy. I swear. <laughs> Only I breathe. I my mom was in town. My sister is in town. My grandmother was in town, so it's been busy. Oh wow! And were they staying at your house? No, they were down in San Antonio, so I was driving to San Antonio a lot. <laughs> oh wow! Oh my goodness, that's a long that's a long drive. And you had all the kids in the car with you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my goodness. And did Are you take an edge? <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, that's my morning routine. Mhm. Mm yeah. So, um, now your mom was she was down in San Antonio? My mom lives in San Antonio now. Oh, okay. So we're all going in to visit her and of course you had to bring the kids, so on the weekends, we're going back and forth. So, how's she doing on the products? I know she's. Um, I don't know. She's on and off. I don't think they're quite as consistent with it as they were. Mm -hmm. um, I'm slightly concerned. I think I'm probably the only one that does not like the new Slim. Oh, you don't like the new Slim? No, not at all. Um, mm -hmm. I don't. I. Is when it too I, sour? Well, I tasted it. It was just straight watermelon. Like, and I'm not a big watermelon fan. Um, but when Leanna tried it, she said it tasted, hers was way too lemony. And I said, oh. mm. But yeah, I'm just not a fan of it. I hope they don't discontinue the first stuff. I do too. Yeah, I, I, like, the, I like the first stuff too. I mean, the second stuff, I mean, like Joni, uh, she likes the second one better because she yeah. didn't she just finished uh, when she bought her welcome pack, mm -hmm. and she got the triplex and everything. And she said, "I really tried. I tried the cranberry juice. She was, I just can't. I can't stomach it." And I'm like, "Okay, hun. Well, you know, call customer service." And she got good response. And they said, "Just keep it. Just keep the open, you know, slim, mm -hmm. and we'll refund." They refunded her money. And um, so we got some of the slim hot dough. I said, we take it. We all drink it around here. So we mm -hmm. like that. So um, have you all? Yeah, they're going to continue. The Go ahead. What, Karen? They're going to continue the regular slim, too. Oh, that's they said cool. that they would. 
in the uh, big reveal. She said if people want to buy the regular Slim, they can. Oh, that's good. That's good. I haven't got mine yet. I'm still waiting. But I want to get it because I want to get my acromancia to grow. Mm -hmm. And you've learned some things. That's our new word for the day. Acromancia. Mm -hmm. So what... What have you learned about acromancia? Yeah, I'm having trouble with the feedback, are you? Mm -hmm. Well, acromancia is the um, microbilia, I guess is what it's called. It's, it's the bacteria in our gut that helps you lose weight. Hmm. And skinny people have a lot of it, and some of us are deficient in it. If we have weight problems, gut problems, and, well, I mean, some of it has to do with inflammation, but there, some of us have, you know, we struggled with weight our whole life. I have since I was 13. And I always would look at my friends, and they would be skinny rails, and I was always struggling. And um, I'm just excited about trying to see if it will, you know, that the, the uh, XOS is what will feed the acromancy to make it grow. And um, I can't wait to try it, see if it helps me start losing weight again, because I haven't been losing weight lately. Of course, I've been on and off the slim financially, mm -hmm. because there are other products we need to take, too, and sometimes those have to come before the slim. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm excited. It's supposed to be here in, like, three days. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, and your friend uh, got it, and you... Uh, you're waiting for her to send it, or she sent it? She sent it today. Oh, that's good. She sent it off today. Oh, good. And, yeah. yeah. I, I placed an order for her in my back office mm -hmm. and uh, because she wanted to send me a check to try not to use their credit cards. Mm -hmm. And um, I forgot to change the shipping address back to mine. Mm -hmm. And so when I ordered it, it went to her. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've gone in and I fixed it and she sent it and I should have, I, I almost said keep one, but then she would have had to open it, right? The trials aren't an indiv individual, right? They're in a little package or something. Yeah. Oh, no? Yeah. Yeah, like that. There's the three-day yeah. trials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. Have you shared any of those yet, Michelle? No, I haven't. I just opened my box, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got it today? Um, I got it while I was gone this weekend, and my husband just told me about it. It was on my pool table in the garage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. I know you're exhausted, honey. Um, how about now, are you guys, uh, when are you guys leaving for the convention? Um, Leanne and I will leave on the 28th. Okay. And then I think the room is on the 20th. Hold on, that Monday? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll leave the 28th. Mm -hmm. And then check-in should be the 29th. Okay. And then the room. I don't know. She, you have to verify with her on the date because I'm not. I'm just driving. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> that's all I'm doing. I know when I'm leaving, and I knew when I needed to have my mom pick up my kids. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've got, um, I'm going to be flying in on the 29th, and I thought what I could do, so you guys wouldn't have to pick me up at the airport, I thought I would take, Ted told me there's shuttles from the airport to the resorts. Oh, yeah. GM and all that. So, um, it, he said it'd be a lot cheaper than taking a cab because, you know, it'd probably be yeah. about 50 bucks taking a cab, too. So, what I might do is just meet up with you guys at the MGM thingy and that Monday. And uh, okay. when you guys get there, then I could just, you know, throw my luggage in your trunk, maybe, mm -hmm. and then we could go do whatever. Yeah. yeah. And that'll be, that's, I'm really excited. I always get a little apprehensive before because I'm not, you know, I'm 
I'm not used to being without my kids and my family, you know, my husband. And I'm like, you know, but, um, I just, I have a peace. You know, like today I thought maybe I should, you know, and Ted says, don't do that. You always do that. Don't do that. He goes, it's okay. You know, I'm like, okay. Nobody's going to cry. He goes, nobody's going to cry. We're all going to be fine. <laughs> okay. All of mine are going to cry. Yeah, I know. I'll cry. <laughs> I'll do enough of that for all of us. So, but um, uh, anyway, it should be really exciting. And then. <clears throat> Have you guys started doing back to the new slim? <clears throat> I think Lori had uh, posted some ideas about like um, old customers that you know getting in contact with them, see if they want to try the new slim or you know uh, old potentials or things like that. Have y'all done that yet? Have y'all made any contact with anybody? No. Yeah. Oh, just a couple, a couple of people. It's kind of waiting till I get it. Mm -hmm. I think I want to make a video. I saw your video, Kim. That was funny. Oh and you pushed him. It was cute. <laughs> oh, he, Tim, did you see did that? You Rochelle? see that, Rochelle? <coughs> no, I haven't even. Did you post it? You had said you were going to post it, but yeah, it's on the. It's on my um, <coughs> both my pages, the pretty and pink, and the. Um, the passion for Plexa. Okay. But I was so excited to get that. And Tim says, hey, Mom, let's make a video. And I'm like, okay, well, what do we do? And he, he's the one that directed the whole thing and put it all together. And he says, now, run at me and push me. <laughs> and I, I was looking at that. I said, oh, I feel bad. I said, gosh, I look like I hurt you. And he goes, just tell everybody that. There was um, no harm was done to the teenager or the child in the making of this video. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, that sounds good. <laughs> oh, but anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you one thing that's been on my heart real quick. And I'm, I'm going to commit myself uh, before you guys. So you guys check, check with me. Okay. Cause I want I want you to hold me accountable for this. And if you so want to, then I'll hold you accountable. But this has been on my heart. I want to do, like, um, one of the things that the uh, Kelly Norman, the lady that I was, um, the workshop I saw, she said, if you do, like, five a day, like, get, get in touch with five new people a day, you know, through private message, email, voicemail, on the phone, one-on-one, -on -one, five new a day and probably the majority of those are going to be like private message or something and then let's see I think she said um do five I think it's five three one is what it's called let's see five new potentials a day three follow-ups a day and one uh one ambassador a day or something like that now some people work on it. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Every, you know, I want to get to a point where I do that every day. Right now, um, and it's going to take some adjustment, you know, my schedule and just wanting to, okay, I've got to do that. You know, because I was listening to Michelle Thomas and she said, uh, I think Sonia Dudley is her sponsor. And she said, Sonia had them doing 10 potentials a day and she said she didn't go to bed till those 10 were done and she said and she said but that's how I so whenever you got the diamond go ahead when you when you your first contact with them you don't talk about plexus right hmm. on the very first time well what you do like is form a relationship <laughs> yeah it's people that you know you know, okay. uh, like for me, um, I'll probably, I have some friends on my Facebook uh, that have liked my other posts, you know, not about Plexus. I'm going, hey, you know, thanks for liking my post about monkeys, whatever. And, you know, I'm just really 
excited to be in contact. I don't know if you knew, but I am a distributor for Plexus. And, you know, they have scripts. Uh, I think on Lori's page and Dana's page, there's some scripts on what you can say to new potentials. You know, but the point is, and this is something that was on my heart, is you're, you are sharing, you're getting it out there, you're building relationship. Um, I've notified mm -hmm. other people, and it's just open, you know, just, hey, you know, if you have any questions about this, let me send you some information, and I'll send them, like, a new video or something. And I'm like, hey, if you know anybody, please refer them to me. You know, I'm, I just want to help other people feel as good as I do. You know, something like that. You can tweak it, and then, um, um, but then, you know, it's out there, and they can answer, or they cannot answer. Um, one thing that's really helped me is that, um, you know, just be, being at the ready. And, like, um, a couple of months ago, I went to the grocery store, and there was a friend of my uh, daughter's friend, uh, well, a mother of my daughter's friend that I hadn't talked to her in a long time. And she was telling me about her husband's health problems and everything. I'm like, ah, I didn't have my business cards. I didn't have my samples. I didn't have my little, you know, rack cards that I invested in and everything. I had nothing except for a little scrawny piece of paper and a pen, and I wrote down <laughs> my name, number, website, and I said, and we talked about other things, too, like, uh, she's on a prayer group, and I said, listen, I'll join with you in regards to your family, and, you know, please call me, and all this stuff, but she was interested, but I, I told myself that day, I'm never doing that again, where I'm not ready, you know, so I have my little, make, you know, zipper thing, and I'm, I'm going to be ready. So, and even if I didn't, you know, uh, just have my business cards or something, you know, but that I'm in it. And that's what Mary was asking me. She said, are you doing this full time now? And I had to stop for a split second. And I thought, yeah, <laughs> I am, <laughs> you know, because I, I looked, okay. I looked everywhere. I went on interviews. I did this for the last two years, and so I finally came to the conclusion, you know what, Lord, I'm, a, I'm all in. I am all in, and so I'm in it with this, and I've lost the weight that I gained last summer. I'm really proud of that, and I'm just going to keep on going, and, you know, exercising every day, and just keep on going, drinking my water, and and, you know, trust in the Lord. So, anyway, I hope that encourages you guys. Will you guys hold me accountable with that? Five a day. Yep. Five a day. Okay. Three, five a day. Three uh, follow-ups and one, uh, uh, someone on your team. So, and you guys got a team. You know, like you've got your team started, Rochelle, your mom, and and um, and Karen, you've got Kathy and Arlene and uh, Bern, Bern, George, what's your name, Bernadette? Betty. 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 Yeah. So you got it. She's just wholesale. She's not even, she doesn't look at anything. She just oh. taking her vitamins and, you know, just taking some things, but. Yeah. Well, also, um, one thing I noticed, too, is um, Plexus will send you an email for those ambassadors that are wholesale and haven't ordered for a while, and they will send, like, um, let's see, they will notify you, hey, you know, we sent so-and-so a 20% discount, you know. I haven't gotten any of those. No, no, she has to be on it for a while. It's like okay. when Astrid joined last year, okay? She doesn't purchase every month. But uh, they'll send it like after a year or after six months or something. I'm like, hey, we noticed this to encourage your, um, your ambassador to order again. Here's 20% discount, you know? 
we sent them this email. Please follow up. Make sure that, hey, you know, they sent you 20% off. Now's the time, you know, to to purchase something. So, and she did. She, I, I notified her. She goes, oh, I didn't realize that. And I said, well, look in your emails, you know, which, you know, I don't know if she does. So, but just, just some different stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm looking forward to our convention and looking forward to, um, I was trying, going to try to squeeze in another party this month, but, um, I'm thinking, no, Kim, not, not this month, but definitely in June, I'm going to squeeze in another party, another event. And I've got some, um, stay at home moms with young kids that, um, I'm looking, I mean, I've been in contact because I did some tutoring for this one family <clears throat> and she contacted me uh, a few weeks ago and said, how are you doing? We miss you. And I'm like, I miss you too. And you know, uh, how's Miss Lily doing? And she's got a little girl named Lily and uh, yeah. two other girls too. And uh, she said, let's get together sometime. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds great. And she said, I've got a friend I want to introduce to you. And I'm like, sounds awesome. You know? And um, so, yeah, those, those different things. So anyway, but okay, does anybody have anything else they want to add? Or, or I, don't, I don't have a video. I just thought we'd touch base. And I'll be in touch with Leanna about that. And I think Pam's coming. Yeah. Yeah, have you talked to her? Um, I haven't talked to her yet, but I did see her post about it, and then I guess Leanna had talked to her, but okay. um, not, not quite sure about what. Okay. But I think she's staying with us. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I told her uh, there was plenty of space and, and all that, so not this. <clears throat> so, and then hopefully next year, I don't know where they're going to have it next year. But um be nice if it's kind of in the center of the country. Yeah, you know, in the middle of the US. Yeah, where it's closer. Yeah. Well in the middle so that on the both the far ends can go halfway. Yeah. I do have a prayer answered and I it's nothing to do with plexus. Mm -hmm. And that's the uh my son Chris is getting married Sunday. That's wonderful. They're getting married. Yeah, they they've been together for eleven years. Oh, um, that's so awesome! So I pray, Lord, get them married. Yeah, <laughs> get them married. Yeah. So he came to the Lord a few about four months ago, five months ago, and I started really hitting the prayers that the Lord would deal with my son. Yeah. And uh, they're getting married. That's awesome, honey. Congratulations. Congratulations to them. Now, they're in Waco, right? Yeah, they're in Waco. Oh, that's wonderful. I know. And Chris has started going back to church, and he goes to a church I don't know much about it. Mm -hmm. um, they have a group that he, he started going to three years ago that uh, he off and on went to, and it's called... Um, warrior heart and it's run by christians and so the man who runs it is also a pastor but that's where they're going and that's where they're going to get married mm -hmm. yeah yeah well that's wonderful sweetheart um, i know you guys are i'm assuming you're not going to be able to go no i i cost so much money at this late date yeah so yeah. I know. Well, it this is just temporary. It'll it'll get there. Yeah. It'll change. The patience <laughs> having That's my dog. <laughs> what are they barking at? Um, they're barking probably at somebody that's walking. Oh. But anyway, well <clears throat> Danny! Matt. Yay, they listen to me. Yay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, does anybody have any? Uh, want... Yeah. No, go ahead. No, I was going to say, does anybody have any prayer requests? 
just for our businesses. That sound good? Okay. Karen, do you want to end it tonight and pray for okay. us? Okay. Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you that we have such an awesome person like Kim to be our leader. And um, thank you for all the enthusiasm. And that she's always pumped up and, and encouraging to us. And um, I ask you to bless her, Lord. I ask you to bless her business and her family. I ask you to put your angels around them, Lord, and just give them all that you have for them, Lord. They've been through quite a bit, but it was all the road that they went on, Lord. I thank you that it was just preparing them for what you have. And Lord, I thank you for Rochelle. I pray for her family and for her business. And Father, you know the needs of her heart and the desires of her heart. Pray, Lord, that you would draw her near to you, that you would reveal yourself to her more and more and how much you really care about her, you care about her business, about her family, and that you are on her side and you're for her. I ask you to encourage her, Holy Spirit, and give her strength. We thank you, Lord, for those that are on our team, but they're not here. We ask you to bless them, Lord. We ask you to cause their, all of our businesses to prosper. Lord, we know that we prosper as we prosper inwardly and in and we just pray that you would expand us inwardly in prospering in you, in knowing you. Help us to focus also on increasing your kingdom, Father, and that you use Plexus, Lord, to do that. We thank you for that. We ask you to be with Pam, Lord, and strengthen her and give her encouragement. And just be with all of us, Lord, as we continue through the night. We thank you for your protection and your love. In that, Lord, you have things you want each of us to know and you want each of us to grow in. We just ask you to help us and lead us on those paths. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Love you guys. Hey, thanks so much for coming. I know you, Rochelle, mm -hmm. bless your heart. You look like you're about to pass out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh, my goodness. You know what I used to do? Uh, the kids would be playing on the floor, and I would fall asleep on the floor around. That's what I you know? I've done it a few times. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, and this is terrible. Did you? Sometimes I wish they were, wish they had been sick so I could get some sleep. <laughs> sometimes it's sleep. terrible. It's terrible. But, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I, I, I Did you it. see that? Did, did you see what happened on the news a few weeks ago? Mm -mm. This uh, lady came home, I guess, from work, and she passed out on the couch, and her husband was taking a nap in the other room. Mm -hmm. So, And their eight-year-old boy wanted to go to McDonald's. Mm -hmm. So he gets his five-year-old sister, and they get in the car, and he drives them to McDonald's. You are kidding me. No. Oh no. Gosh. He gets her keys and they go, I don't know how he did it. How could he see over the steering wheel and reach, the, you know, the ex accelerating pedal? But Oh, my gosh. They oh thought it was quite God. funny. He went to the drive-in window uh -huh. to order. Oh, my gosh. He's been driving with his five-year-old sister on the side. I oh want a hamburger. Gosh. That's so crazy. <laughs> that's so crazy. Oh, my gosh. That's scary. That is scary. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's... Did I fall asleep? Yeah. That's, that's Actually, another, your kids are... <laughs> oh, gosh. That's another day for stories with the, with the kids. <laughs> so, anyway. All right, girls. I love you. You have a good night. Love you, too. We'll talk to you have later. Good night. Okay. Bye.